We're going to work on graphing inequalities. Um, our first part is going to be on writing equalities for each graph. So right now we see a number line um, from negative 10 to positive 10. And at the zero mark, I have an open circle and then a line coming this way and an arrow that says keep on going. So all the way to a million if you need to go to a million. So an inequality is um, when something is greater than, something is less than, something is greater to or equal to, or when something is less than or equal to. And so when we read the line, we want to ask ourselves, is what is being graphed representing something that is greater than, something that is less than, something that is greater than or equal to, or something that is less than or equal to? And so it's all about reading the numbers in the direction. Typically when we see a number line, when we're moving toward the right, we're always getting bigger numbers. And as we move toward the left, we're always getting smaller numbers. So whenever we have something that's greater than, we should always see it going on into the right direction because these numbers are increasing each step of the number line. So anytime we see a graph going in the right-hand direction, we're going to know it's greater than. The question is, is it greater than and equal to, or is it just greater than? And that is where the circle comes in, whether or not it's an open or a closed circle. So for this first one, the open circle is at zero. Okay, the open circle is at zero. Okay, so that means whatever our inequality is, has to do so, has to do deal with something with zero. Okay, since our uh, shading part is coming to the right, and as we move from the zero this way, we see that numbers are getting bigger. Okay, so that means that it, our numbers are going to be bigger than zero. So whatever variable we have is going to be bigger than zero. And the reason we're going to put our mark on zero is because even point zero zero one is a greater number than zero. So by saying x is greater than zero, we're saying that any number on this number line that is greater than zero, so we're going to circle the zero so that we include all of the numbers in between our whole number one. Okay. Let's look at a second example. Now we have another open circle. This time the open circle is at negative 4, and then our number line is colored all the way to the right. Again, going toward the right means that we are increasing our numbers, so our variable needs to be bigger than, so greater than, and it's at the negative 4, so x is greater than negative 4. x could be negative 3, x could be uh, negative 1, x could be 0.5, but either way, any value um, that you get for x needs to be greater than negative 4. Next example, now we have a closed circle. So if we notice here, in this example we had an open circle, so x was greater than negative 4.